When I applied to my second role, the, the, the job that I'm at today, like over 15 years ago, I remember my resume at the time, and I had Linux knowledge on my resume. And, and I'll tell you how I got the Linux knowledge. And this was this is 15 plus years ago. The way I got Linux knowledge back then was, well, I, I, twofold. I don't remember it with a second. But the first was building my own DVR. I wanted to record TV shows to files that I could use on my computer or watch on my computer. And I remember there was a program or project called Myth TV, which was, I think it was based on Ubuntu, but it was like a, a custom distribution that was meant for connecting to your cable box via Firewire, which I don't think exists anymore. <laughs> but but yeah, I remember having to build my Myth TV home DVR. And this is when I got exposed to the terminal. And it was, you know, basic installation stuff, checking logs, IP config stuff, or if config stuff. So yeah, I remember putting this on my resume. No one knew it at the when I was interviewing, I remember nobody knew what it was. And I, I explained it, which I thought was a cool project. And I never built this home DVR with the idea to get a job. I built it because I wanted to record TV shows. I feel like everything I've ever learned in tech is because I wanted to do something. Tech was the barrier, and I wasn't going to let it stop me from getting it done. You know, whether it was improving my network to get better latency in gaming, whether it was recording content off of TV back when you were, you were allowed to. Pretty much everything is me doing stuff, figuring out, and then learning and taking it like and applying it elsewhere. So if it's one thing I, I would recommend to people today, do the things, like just do stuff. Have a goal, have an objective, and just do it. Like reading about it, watching videos, listening to podcasts, that's great and all. But you really get to the understanding of how things work when you do it. And you're going to mess it up. I remember messing things up all the time. I think I may have built that home DVR box like 10 times and ended up wiping it, starting over, wiping it, starting over. So this is how you learn. Just do it and, and you'll get better. And that's it.